Do you ever see repeating number sequences such as 222, 333, 444, etc.? In this video, I am going to tell you exactly what it is all about and why it is extremely important that you know it. So make sure to stick till the end of this video because I am going to share with you some secrets behind numerology. Hi everyone, it's Kaisa here. Welcome back to my channel. I am a musician, entrepreneur, and a love attraction coach. So let's dive deep into numerology, angel numbers, number sequences, whatever you want to call them. So the first thing I want you to know is that nothing happens without a reason. Like everything happens for a reason. Like we create our own worlds. We create our realities. Our thoughts and feelings create our worlds. So everything happens for a reason. Everything is created by us. There is no coincidence. So there is a reason why those numbers show up in our realities. When you Google number sequences or angel numbers, like what does 222 mean? What does 333 mean? You find like so many different answers. Like there are so many websites. There are so many videos on YouTube telling telling you that 222 means this and 222 means that like so many different interpretations but how can you know what which one of them is correct which one of them is right the truth is that you cannot tell you cannot know which one of them is right or which one is suitable for you let me tell you an example if you keep seeing 555 everywhere and you ask somebody what does it mean and they tell you that it's a bad sign it's a warning something bad is going to happen to you, you need to watch out and then you believe it. Then you move on with your life with that little thought in the back of your mind like what if something is going to go wrong and then you see 555 again and you're so sure that oh my god something is going to go wrong for sure. So let me tell you, it's quite likely that something is going to go wrong because you are expecting it. So therefore, you are creating something to go wrong in your reality. Because whatever you believe in becomes your reality. The way I see number sequences is that they tell me that I am on the right path. They are like a confirmation for me that I am doing the right thing and I should keep going. But there is something else that I want you to know. And it is the fact that everything around you is empty and meaningless unless you give a meaning to it. So let's say your friend says something to you or you see a black cat crossing the road. Like that kind of things, they don't actually mean anything. They only mean what you think they mean. Let me give you another example. Like I hate onions. Like I don't like the taste of onions. But there are people who love onions to death. Like they love eating onions. So it's not the onion itself that is the bad guy. It's not positive, it's not negative, it just is. It's all about the perception. The way you see your world creates your reality. I'm not telling you to stop googling what all those number sequences mean because I do that myself. But how I do is, is that whenever I find some kind of meaning, I look at it and I check in with myself. Does this resonate with me? Does it feel right to me? Does it feel good? So if it's something that resonates with me, if I think it makes sense, I might believe in it. Or if it's something negative or something random or something like I definitely don't want to see in my reality, I don't pay attention to it. I ignore it. I let it go. I don't believe in it because I know that I create my reality and whatever I believe in becomes my reality. Like I said before, I use number sequences to tell me, to show me that I am on the right path. I use them as a confirmation to tell me that I am doing the right thing. But there is another side to this. Actually, when you are looking for signs in your outer reality, you are giving your own power away. Let's say you're saying, universe, please give me a sign, show me 555 to tell me that I am doing the right thing. That means that you think that the power 
is outside of you like something outside of you is creating your reality i believe that the universe is within all of us we are the creators of our own realities and whatever we believe to be true it becomes our reality now it doesn't mean that all those number sequences are useless and they don't mean anything they actually do. When I first started getting into law of attraction and heard about the angel numbers, number sequences, and I was like, but I actually don't see them. Like, is there something wrong? Am I doing something wrong? But then I get to know more about them. I started to intend that I'm gonna see them and guess what happened? I started seeing them. And these days I am seeing them every single day. I mostly see 222s and 444s. Let me know in the comments what is the most common number sequence that you see in your life. Seeing those number sequences is actually good evidence for the fact that our thoughts create our realities. So I take all of that evidence to build up my confidence as a great manifester. I use it as an evidence that my thoughts actually create. So to recap what I said in this video is that those number sequences don't really mean anything unless you give a meaning to them. And I think you should definitely give a positive meaning to them and use them as an evidence that your thoughts created them to create even more great things in your life. So that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you learned anything new, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I am making three videos every week to help you start living your dream life right now. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.